Badger here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, home of the Reds since 2003. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And out the hill in this one, Hunter Green. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. And he deals. Hit weakly on the ground. Encarnacion Strand steps on the bag and a quick out number one as we take a look at the Nationals lineup the sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today Chris yeah and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back and for hitters you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you you've got this other force coming against you so important to try to get on top of the ball well, no. in terms of hitting line drives you know maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws think it's going to go out of the ballpark and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track up and okay. in and that's ball two Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. That's down and in. And now two gone. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Here's Joey Gallo. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And that one wraps foul. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Two down, nobody on. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nationals go quietly. And now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy and today's starting pitcher, Mackenzie Gore. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first. Now here is Matt McClain. The pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. The pitch. Foul ball there. Just missed. Swing and a miss. 
Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Got him. And there's one away. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on the pitchers. The game goes on. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Ellie De La Cruz. Yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Ball one. Okay. You can feel the extra attention on Ellie anytime he comes to the plate. This guy's a player that keeps you on the edge of your seat because you don't know what he's going to do next. He can hit for power, steals bases, he can throw the ball 100 miles per hour across the infield. He's electric. That's off the mark. Two and oh. That clips the corner. One out, base is empty. Three, and now the count filled up three and two. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Spencer Steer getting ready to hit. Just missed. De La Cruz, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Step off throw to first, right and they got him. <laughs> so much for their first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. fouled off two outs comes up empty that's strike two she can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it that's just too much velocity hitters got to look down in the zone the pitch center field settles underneath it and that is that We played an inning, no score. Top of the second, and here's the DH for Washington. Joey Manessis. Green, in his third season, 24 years old, a former first round pick back in 2017. And the pitch. Ball oh. one low. One and oh. Fouled off down the right side. And a pitch. In the air, right field. Fair ball. That is good. The left Eddie.
Here's Eddie Rosario. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. There's the swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle so I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands and now it's Kiebert Ruiz swings and pulls it foul to the right side Ah, uh, look out. That fastball drilled him. Fastball right there smoked him in the leg. At least it's in the leg and not in the wrist or the hand, but it still hurts, man. And now it's Luis Garcia. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. And that's outside. And one now ball. it's even one, one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Go ahead, run at second. Here at the top of the second. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And now it's filled up. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Headed down the line. Fraley really on his horse for it. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Payoff pitch, and that'll that load the bases. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Now it's Nick Senzel, and that's in there at the knees. Second inning here, no score. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second, and that's two. This team is ready to make a play with the bases loaded. Excellent job of execution there. You turn the double play, and the inning is over. Cincinnati, bottom of the inning. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Jamer Candelario. Candelario. Here comes a pinch. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh. 
kicks and fires. Popped up. Garcia settles under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Jonathan India at the plate. India measures six feet even, 200 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. One ball. And delivers okay. outside. Ball. And now two and nothing. Base is empty one away, bottom half of inning number two. This one in the air, under it. Two down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Jake Fraley digs in now. Fraley in his fourth year, 28 years old. Usually in left, but today he's starting in right field. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the big play, in my opinion, from right field is that throw from right field to third base. Longest one in the game, and you've got to have a pretty strong arm. Hopefully he can play that one hop nicely if he has an opportunity to throw out a runner. Pitch oh. misses. Going to count one and two. One and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Reds go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Great American Ballpark. And now the center fielder, Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. That oh. one misses, and it's one and one. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way one. to beat the shift. One ball. Riding to the plate. Comebacker to the mound. Throws the first. One up, one down. Up next to the CJ. So the lineup flips over. CJ Abrams, the next to hit. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. That's a strike. That one not close. Two and one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Two down. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And now it's Joey Gallo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh. 
And it's second. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Falling behind two and one. Man on second, two down. Outside corner, got him looking. He can't believe it. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. Gore back to work. That misses, and it's one to know. And that one missing low. At the belt and fires. That one missing inside. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And there's the automatic. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Rosario gets under it. And out number one on the grab. And here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And there's a foul ball. All tied up here in the last half of the third. Now one and one. One down, base is empty. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Will Benson in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. On to the fourth, still scoreless. And we're back. And now the DH, Joey Manessis. Joey Manessis. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm oh, delivers. Oh. And a good eye there. Oh. And another ball. Oh. Right hander kicks deals. A little frustrated with the strike zone. That one finds the zone. And the count is two and two. Mm. Just misses there. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit.
That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with three pass. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Coming in as a pinch runner, Nassim Nunez. Go ahead, run on base. And now up for Washington, Eddie Rosario. Caught looking his first time up. Fall off foul. Throw to first. Nunez gets back easily. The pitch. That's in there. And it's nothing in two. With well, two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. With the go-ahead run at first, top half of inning number four. That right, misses, now. and the count one and two. Good eye right there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Kicks and deals. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to second for one. Back to first, and that is a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Next to hit, Hebert Ruiz. Ball one there. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss, strike one. That's in there. And it got one and two. The line to kick the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Onto the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth, in now for the Reds, Matt McClain. And the pitch. And that's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And he deals. One and there's a ball. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. One, two now. Wouldn't chase that time. Comes a two, two. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now it's the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. A switch hitter batting right. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. pitch right side Thomas settles underneath it puts it away for the out the left field, number seven Spencer Spencer Steer. Steer the next to hit for the Reds 0 for 1 with a fly out to center oh. 
first off. Oh, bringing it just misses. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. Steer tries to hold up, appeal to first, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. That one misses. Three and two now. Jamer Candelario waits on deck. and misses it's a strikeout and one two three go the Reds and we are still scoreless back here in Cincinnati ready now for the fifth the inning base. here's the second baseman Luis Garcia the right hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. Short hop liner handled it short. Zips it across, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Late swing fouled off. The line of the pitch. Gets the slider in there for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Here's Victor Robles. Grounded out his first time up. That one almost got him. Two outs. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. Wouldn't That's chase that time. C.J. Abrams in the on deck circle for the Nats. The pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Abrams in the box now. Take strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Pickoff move to first. Robles dives back in. Here's your one. 
And there's a shot good here at 98. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. That's towards center. He's under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Nationals leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Jamer Candelario. And a pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Grab ball up the middle. Abrams in plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. So up next, Jonathan India. India. Over one so far. Just missed. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Pitch misses there. The count now two and two. One down, base is empty. Breaking ball inside. And it's a full count. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And here it comes. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Out number two. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. And now the right fielder, Jake Fraley. He was a strikeout victim his first time. A little surprised. You don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. In there for strike one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And a swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Struck him out swinging. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Nobody left for Cincinnati. Still no score. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's Lane Thomas. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And that's outside. 1-0. Move to second, and he's back safely. Good wheels out there on second, and he's getting a pretty big lead right now. Definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield. The 1-0. Oh. Inside corner for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Yeah, they're swinging the miss. Man at second. 
Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kicks and fires. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. That's back. Into the top deck and out of here. Home run. He powers that one out of here. The Nationals strike first. It's 2-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. There's the strike. You know, these Nationals oh, showing my. great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Next oh. one misses. One and one. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Inside, just missed. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. And the righty deals. In the air, foul off first. Encarnacion Strand calls it in, and there's one away. Up next for Washington, the designated hitter. Nassim Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Hunter Green done for the day, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Sam Mole comes on now. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 50, Sam Mole. At the play, Nassim Nunez entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. One strike. And now one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball.
two runs across in the inning and we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss and he struck him out. Now two away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Rosario, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Ian Jabot loosening up for manager David Bell. Farmer warming up as well. Here comes the 1. Towards first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. 7 8 9 due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Nationals 2, and the Reds nothing. Bottom of the six, and here's the first baseman, Christian Encarnacion Strand. The pitch. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Tying run at the plate. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. First time up was a pop out. And that's outside. One ball, no straight. That one missed. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. With the winning run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. That one misses. Three balls, no strikes. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Ball four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. That is Cam Carr right there. Four pitch walk. And guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Next for Cincinnati, Will Benson. Golden opportunity right here. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over-anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Hit, one run is in. Runner held it third, and they'll be loaded again with nobody out. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Matt McLean, the next to hit for the Reds. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Strike two. No the winning run on second base. And yeah, that's outside. And the count is one and two. 
Activity in the Washington bullpen. Kyle Finnegan looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. And the pitch. This one smoked out to left. In there. That'll do it. In comes the winning run. And the Reds walk it off and win it 3-2. Yeah, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.